The county is trying to keep devastating wildfires like the ones we're seeing to the north from happening in our neck of the woods. And because of that, the county is enacting fire restrictions. Cardio 13's Julia Donovan is live from the El Paso County Sheriff's Office Emergency Services Division with what you need to know. Julia. Yep, deputies go out every week manually checking how dry the vegetation is here in El Paso County. Now I'm told for the last few weeks they were able to hold off, but given all of the excessively dry weather that we've had for days on end, they decided now's the time to take some extra precautions. So stage one fire restrictions are in place, and that mainly means you can still have a campfire inside an established fire ring, but you now need a permit if you're hoping to burn outside of a ring. The sheriff's office told me the restrictions are based on that dry fuel, but also on the fact that so many of our neighboring firefighters are tied up right now, and we've even had to send some of our own firefighters to help. They say the harsh reality is there just aren't enough firefighters anywhere. So it's a balancing act of allocating resources where they're needed most while still trying to protect us here at home. If we want to be able to participate in the national effort, and help out our neighbors, our neighboring states, uh, and help out with their large wildland fire incidents in the hopes and the expectation that they will reciprocate that when we have our large wildland fire incidents, then we have to manage it as best we can. They say they have enough firefighters to help if a fire popped up here. With recent demand elsewhere, that means some El Paso County firefighters working overtime and volunteers stepping up. Now, for all the details on those current fire restrictions in place for your area, you can check out our website. That's Cardio.com. Reporting live in El Paso County, Julia Donovan, Cardio 13. Julia, thanks for the update.